seven players. Statistically speaking, that makes one of you a yoga instructor. Put on your oxygen tank, because we're going to explore cyberspace. <laughs> Hello, I'm Todd. Welcome to the interwebs. Yeah, yeah, let's stop wasting time on the internet. Let's start things off at a... e-commerce site. So, you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. You're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can. Do you regret your decisions? It's too late now.
looks the most ridiculous here? Place your vote now. And here are the results. Here's who twisted your words. Some points for them. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Let's see where everyone stands at the moment. Great. Now let's go to, uh... News site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. I hope this inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. You'd think I'd learn my lesson, but yet, here we are again. Here are your candidates. Now place your votes.
let's see who got the votes. I hope you're not a vegan because you got egg all over your face. How will that shuffle the leaderboard? Let's find out. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to a social media site. Another prompt is headed your way. Now get to it. the drill. Let's see what you rascals came up with. Let's get those boats in. Here are the verdicts. You dolt. Scoreboard time. We only have time for one more, so let's end it at a photo sharing site. And points are worth double this round.
Okay, I hope you have one last opinion in you. It's the last round, so don't hold anything back. Gulp. It all comes down to this. Voting time. Let's see who got the points. You look foolish. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Hey, you know, that's real. I'm really, I think you really did something today here. Nice.
We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no-holds-barred tournament. And your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering. I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. Best place to haunt after you become a ghost. Enter your answers now. Type in the best answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in moolah. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some... This is Bracketeering. I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. Most generous thing to donate. I'm deducting this on my taxes. Type in the best answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in cash. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. Running out. Your answers are being paired off into one on one matchups. That means it's time to introduce ourselves to the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you could win some sizable bonus bucks. <laughs> Oh, and don't forget, if you don't think your own answer has a chance of victory, you can still grab some cash by predicting the correct winner. The predictions are in. It's time to dive into our first bracket. Oh, it's a doozy. Use your device to vote on which you think deserves to win. But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. Just running out the clock now.
super charitable. Cha-ching for any prediction winners. Our next matchup. Folks, I've been waiting for this matchup my entire career. No one thought it would be this close. This one's looking over. Some heads were spinning on that one. There's cash if you predicted this one. Let's see what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. This is why we do this, folks. A real tug of war! This one seems like it's over before it's... You will not be denied! It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup! The lead keeps changing hands! This one's going down to the wire! A seesaw battle if I ever saw one! Looks like this one was obvious! Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction! Hey, you got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is gonna win. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Talk about a rivalry. These two competitors have been at each other's necks all week. An upset in the making! This one's looking over! That wasn't even close! We're just one match away from our finals! These answers faced off last year, but will the results be the same? I am on the edge of my seat! We're in the home stretch! Like falling off a log! And now, the definitive matchup! What is the most generous thing to donate? The struggle is real! It's a nail-biter! We have our first winner! Wow, what a bracket! Let's see how the score shook out! It's time for the blind bracket. We start with just the category. Name any band from the 90s or early 2000s. 
go ahead and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after you answer. running out let's see what this bracket is really about band that would probably release the best children's album time to get in those predictions the predictions are in up first Goosebumps! No one could have predicted this one! Next up... It's really going back and forth! Just running out the clock now. Get out of the way. Why don't we see what's going on on the other side of the bracket? This one seems like it's over before it's done. What an upset! An easy bet that pays off! And now our last two contenders face off! War. This one's looking over. Fork a stick in me, I am done. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. A slight lead taking shape. I am on the edge of my seat. This might be a photo finish. That was ugly. Our winner moves on to the final, but let's find out what they'll face off against. There is no love lost between these two. An upset in the making. 
This one seems like it's over before it's done. That victory will not require a recount, but I'm not allowed to talk about politics. And now the final face-off. Which band would have the best children's album? thought it would be this close. Who will come out on top? We have a winner! Let's check out that scoreboard! And now, for the bracket you've all been waiting for, the Triple Blind Bracket. This bracket will change every single round. Here's your starting category. Give any short insult. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take. running out let's see what we're dealing with best tagline for a real housewife to say during the opening credits time to get in those predictions all cash is doubled this round so make these choices count The predictions are in. Up first. Former teammates, will these two answers be able to stay focused on the matchup? The struggle is real. Just running out the clock now. Oh, that win was so big, you could hear it in the next state over. Moving on to our next matchup. The lead keeps changing hands. Will we see a final push? That could have gone either way! Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. This matchup was bound to happen. This one's looking over. Decisive victory. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. This 
one could be decided by a single vote. That's as close a battle as you'll ever see. Let's switch up this bracket. Best name for a restaurant where the waiters insult you. Get those predictions in now. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. This one seems like it's over before it's done. Peas and broccoli! A surprise win for some of our predictors. One more match to determine our finals. It's a bracket like this that truly makes this game the sport of kings. Just running out the clock now. Dominating win. One final switcheroo. Best pet name. I hope your answers still make sense. And now the final face off. Some early votes. A real tug of war. This one's looking over. That'll do it. But who walked away with the top score?
Doodle Valley, awarded the title of Coolest Town Ever by Sarcastic Awards Magazine. Thank you guys so much. Thank you all for volunteering or being lightly bullied to participate in our town beautification initiative. Remember, non-volunteers can still make a difference by joining the audience. The mayor wants to turn all the drab white walls in the town into colorful community art projects. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Susan. That's not my name, sir. And I know just where to start. <laughs> right here. As you can see, this piece has already been started. Mrs. Palmer's boy Leroy started drawing this, but he got distracted by a weird dog before he could finish. What is that, a squi squiggle? I don't know. They didn't even finish it. We believe in a little thing called democracy around here, so I'll let two of you make additions to the drawing, and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. Oh, and I'm keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, volunteers. Ready? Still ready? And ready. I mean, go. While these two are drawing, the rest of you can express your feelings about their work with the buttons on your device. One of them is poop. Oh, it's so hard to choose. Luckily, I don't have to. You do. Come on, vote, why don't you? That shook out. The polls are closed. Not so fast, Melissa. Each match, I'll choose a different emoticon, and I'll give out a bonus to the drawing that earned the most of them. This time, the bonus goes to the most disgusting drawing. Hey, hey! The people have spoken. Okay, let's see what you two can do. up those votes this time the bonus goes to the drawing with the most hearts i love it now how about you two give it a shot go
voting time. <laughs> Here we go! Next up... Go! Let's count those votes. Up next... Go! Next on deck, go! It's voting time. Okay, count them up. Up next.
to vote. Moment of truth. Nobody move. I think our painting is complete, but it still needs a title. Use your device to suggest one. Now vote for your favorite. The hard work's done! Let's step back and admire our work! Wow, that definitely makes a statement! I'm at a loss for words! What's next, Mr. Mayor? Oh, I got a special treat for our budding artist, Dr. Zydeco! That's not... Fine. What is it? You all have done so well, I want to commission you to do a portrait to hang in the town hall. Everybody brace yourselves, because you're all drawing at once this time. I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine citizens. And just flip through the old Doodle Valley phone book. There you go, a fine subject for our portrait. Sir, I, I think you accidentally pulled that from the town's pet registry. <laughs> You're not questioning me, are you? Because I know what's happening here. Like, I know that this, this be, the town is being... Well, I right? guess we're drawing an animal. For starters, let's add a head to this body, and we'll go from there. Any head you want should work. Bad options here, but let's vote on which is best. Okay, next let's do the legs.
Okay, vote. we put a tail on there. Finally, finish the drawing by adding anything you want. Just don't go over budget. Last vote, make it count. Buckle up, here comes the final piece! <laughs> That'll do, community volunteers! That'll do! You're all winners in my heart, but the votes tell a different story. Civic Doodle, Civic Doodle, just find a blank wall cause we're gonna have a ball with your
Welcome to Monster Seeking Monster. I'm your host, Felicia Screamblinger. But you can call me- Oh no, don't kill me! That's what all my friends call me.
I'll be hosting six nights of dastardly dating, where you'll try to convince other players to go out with you by sending them secret messages. Each night, you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on a date and both earn a heart. At the end of the game, the monster with the most hearts wins, more or less. Did I mention you're all secretly monsters? Check your devices now to see your secret powers and how you can earn bonus hearts if you put them to good use. Let's all take a chance on love in a room filled with potentially terrifying monsters. Let's start by chatting with other players and trying to set up dates. You can only send four messages each night, so use them wisely. Detail, your secret messages might not be secret forever, so keep that in mind. seconds until any unsent messages are lost forever. Hurry up! Okay, time's up. Now, on your device, pick the one person you hope you're going on a date with tonight. Potential for disaster and heartbreak. Okay, let's see who everyone wanted to date. And if you don't get a date, don't worry. This is just the first night. If you only get one message from someone, they're probably not that into it. Oh wow, four of you. That's a lot to manage. Some of you have to go. Sorry. Okay, now then. Wow, what an exciting first night. Ooh, let's do that awkward thing where we all take a hard look at how we're all doing score-wise. It looks like you are currently doing the best, and you're temporarily in last place. A quick word of warning. Whoever is in the top spot at the end of the second night of dates will have their monster power revealed. And every night after that, we'll do the same for the highest ranking unrevealed monster. Oh, by the way, there's a full moon out tonight, in case that affects your monster power. We all know how this works by now. Message away! Hey, if you need 
to block another player from messaging you, when you hit the info button on their chat screen, you can also find the block button so you won't see their messages. Only 20 seconds left. Oh, sorry, time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. So, did we learn any useful life lessons the first night? We'll find out. It's date time! Oh wow, four of you! We have to fix that. Half of you have to go. Sorry about that. Okay, now then. Let's see if any of that changed the social pecking order. Ooh, things are moving. Don't forget, at the end of each night from now on, the highest ranking secret monster will have your identity revealed. You're currently at the top. Let's see your monster power. Mother! The mother receives a bonus heart every night their child does not get a date. If you need to read that again, you can always see the monster power rules for a revealed player by hitting the info button on their chat screen. Night three. Message time! Oh, a quick word of advice. Sometimes, if your conversation is really, really funny, a person will want to date you just so they can see it up on the screen. It's worth a try. Just 20 more seconds. Okay, time's up. Once again, it's time to pick your date. The suspense is killing me. Not literally, I'm immortal. Don't go 
yet, there's more. You thought that one little message was going to work, huh? No date for the child means a bonus heart for the mother. Wait, there's another one. We already know how this will go. Mm, no one seemed to be able to get anything going this night. You're the highest unrevealed player, so let's see it. The witch takes a hair from each new player they date. When revealed, which is right now, the witch receives one bonus heart for every hair collected. And don't worry, the witch won't collect any more hairs now that they're revealed. Or if they do, it's for their own weird personal use. I'm excited about that full moon. Get to messaging. seconds and counting. Oh, sorry. Time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. I haven't felt this nervous since I ate my family. Let's see those dates. <laughs> Call me old fashioned, but I like to see a message or two before a rejection. Stick around, there's another one for you. No date for the child means a bonus heart for the mother. We know this ends badly. Let's see if that changed any of the standings. Definitely saw some movement in there. Let's see what you are. Serial killer!
The serial killer steals two hearts from a player the second time they date each other. From my experience, it's safe to date a serial killer at least once. Uh-oh, full moon tonight. Message time. Okay, time's up. Once again, it's time to pick your date. If my heart could still beat, it would be skipping a few right now. It's date time. Stay right there, there's more. Looks like someone else wanted in on that action and failed. It's your second date. The serial killer steals two hearts. Let's see what's what now. Wow, some serious movement. Okay, let's see your secret. Leprechaun! Everyone who dates an unrevealed leprechaun gets two fake hearts. When the leprechaun is revealed, that's right now, all fake hearts disappear. At this moment, leprechauns get one bonus heart for every player that drops in the rankings. Bonus hearts for the leprechaun for players dropping in the rankings. Last night. It's our last night together. Make it count. And you get two hearts for dating tonight instead of one because it's such a special night. Last night. Get to messaging. No, 
it's time to clear down to 20 time. seconds. The last night does not arrive. The only one to choose is me. Then we'll be in ecstasy. Pick me on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, sorry. Time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. The excitement is almost bringing me back to life. Let's see the dates. Someone's lining up hoping to be next. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> Ouch, neither of you. people with more than just one message. No date for the child means a bonus heart for the mother. We know how this is gonna end. <laughs> Stick around, there's another one for you. Let's see the almost final standings. One last thing, it's time for the after party. Time to reveal any remaining hidden monster power. Time for another reveal. Vampire! Everyone the vampire dates becomes a vampire, and then so do the people they date. At the end, this vampire receives half a bonus heart for every vampire in the game. Monster Hunter! At the end of the game, the Monster Hunter gets a bonus heart for every time they date the monster type they've secretly been told to hunt. Time to tally up any after-party bonus hearts. Let's see how many of you were turned into vampires. None of you! Who was the Monster Hunter hunting this whole time? The witch, who they never did successfully date. Sorry, Monster Hunter. How does that affect the final standings? Apparently, it does not. Bye. 